and then going down we have visibility and then flex controls which uh, map all the way almost one to one to CSS flex properties and they are in two groups container and child and container let's, let's just do an experiment we can see here flex is already set so this container will be organized according to like flex rules and then all the elements inside are child elements let's change something let's change the order so now we have from bottom to up we could also say okay let this be rows of content not just columns and we can specify how the content is aligned justified so flex gives us a lot of options in this flex container and flex child properties let us use flex without really dealing with css directly and the best part is they're responsive so we can have different flex settings for different device sizes so now let let's say on extra small we have aligned like this centrally and then let's do on small we do it like that and we have different flex settings for different device sizes